What is up guys, Tacticals here. Time for an FPGA update slash situation report. We're gonna take a look at the Black Miner F1 Plus, which has recently had a price drop down to $3,200. See how it's comparing, what bit streams might be coming out here in the future, what we can expect from the BCU, VCU series cards and the CVP-13, compare them versus the price, so on and so forth. Now, before everyone rushes into the comments saying things like, uh, if you're selling your FPGA, you must not think it's profitable or a good investment moving forward in in the future and your opinion doesn't count unless you own it so there Indeed, I am selling my BCU 1525, the one that we have been running all the tests on thus far. I understand that some people may think that this is an indicator of me thinking or knowing, having advanced knowledge that the, uh, the FPGA thing is just not going to work out or it's not going to attain profitability. Uh, well, nothing's really profitable right now. Actually, I am quite profitable. It's very easy. Uh, all you have to do is switch 14 times a day between Grin and Cuckoo to the D uh, uh, algorithm, and it's actually quite very easy. I'm pulling uh, two cents per day per rig. So as you can see here, it is quite profitable. <laughs> you idiot. Sure, we've had an upswing here over the past week, and we see this kind of volatility going up and down. Things look optimistic, and then they fall off a cliff again. Uh, really, it comes down to me, like I've said a million zillion times, I don't want to get uh, off on a tangent here, uh, but it's just not worth the time invested. Sure, FPGAs can uh, make a lot if you know what to mine, if you've got a good insider bitstream, but for me, really, it comes down to the amount of time averaged out uh, for the bear period and the bull period. Plus, if you look at the new hardware that I'm hopeful that I'll be able to announce here soon, it was about a $7,000 investment that's yielding about $50 a day on the low end. And so when you look at hardware like that versus something like an FPGA or a GPU, uh, there's, there's no comparison at all. <laughs> I mean, really, it's, uh, it, it's, it's really optimistic. I'm really excited about this. We'll get into that more in the coming weeks and months. Otherwise, if you would like to buy any of my closeout farm hardware or the BCU 1525, I'm selling it at bargain uh, basement prices. You can also pick up cool things like this Bitcoin pin here, similar to this Bitcoin pin. Over on the technicals.io, I'm selling things really, really cheap. You can also pick up a cool t-shirt here. This is our latest shirt, uh, private by default, the Grin shirt. Pick that up and more things like it on the technicals.io. I'm the technicals. Let's get into it. The technicals. So first bit of news, what's new? Are there any new FPGAs that have come out? Not many that I've seen. We've seen some smaller ones come out, similar to the Atom Miner, uh, which we are unfortunately not going to be able to get our hands on, and another one here called the UK Miner, which I found through the course of just cruising Instagram. Very curious because they uh, market this thing as an FPGA Miner that's due out soon, but it's intended for Varus, and it says... Uh, quote, in the description, the Varus UK Miner V1 is specifically designed to mine the Varus algorithm. It's an ASIC. The whole point of FPGAs is that they're reprogrammable, similar to GPUs. ASICs are locked into a single algorithm, so why they're calling this thing an FPGA when it is made to mine one algorithm is beyond me. I think maybe they're just trying to capitalize on FPGA hype, whatever FPGA hype there actually is. So I would be careful in, uh, in looking at some things by these smaller companies making these new FPGAs. The buyer beware when you're looking for new FPGAs. I personally would recommend sticking to things that are proven, that are in the hands of other people, uh, so you can be uh, assured that you're going to get performance out of the box. Second piece of news, we've seen a price drop on the Black Miner F1 Plus. Our previous video, we went into the Black Miner F1 Plus, which is a, which is a three-board model of the Black Miner, which increases your performance by anywhere from 50 or even more percentage with using about 1,000 watts worth of power. Upon release, the Black Miner F1 Plus was about $3,800, $3,900. It's now $3,200. So your price per hash has gone down significantly. So if you're considering paying $2,000 for an FPGA miner, it, uh, it's maybe worth considering going a little bit extra to that 3200 mark just to get that extra performance. If you're on the fence or you're considering getting a Black Miner or a Black Miner F1, the coupon code has been reactivated by Hash Altcoin. I get a $100 coupon myself, but I have no interest in buying these things. I'm glad to transfer them to people. You get a coupon, one or two coupons per Black Miner. I'm not sure what that means, but you get at least $100 off if you use this code uh, during checkout buying your Black Miner. So consider using that code. I don't have any interest in using the coupons that I get because I have no hosted miners there just to be fully transparent in talking about this so if you're on the fence you're considering buying a black miner or black miner F1 or the single board model it makes sense to go ahead and use a, uh, a coupon on it the 
get you $100 off. Use this code at checkout when buying. Last time when we were comparing the Plus to the regular model to the BCU 1525, we took a look at OX, Tribus, and, uh, and Skeen, I believe it was. Black Miners actually put a profit calculator on their website. Here's a screenshot of it here. Uh, they put this on there for people who are curious as to what the most profitable coin is. Many other resources exist out there, uh, but they put this right there on their site so you can plug in and see what it is. Many of the coins that are very profitable are not listed or are very, very small, low liquidity, low volume coins. You're going to have to watch out for that. I've been on Zen Protocol the entire time. I haven't even touched it. Uh, Zen Protocol being one that's consistently near the top. No, no, it's not the most profitable. It goes up and down, but it seems to, to me to be the most consistent. And because I don't want to spend all day following the coin du jour, thinking about what to mine, I just leave it on Zen Protocol and I'm mining it with the hope that in the next bull run, whenever that is, Zen Protocol will appreciate in value and I can dump it all. You may adopt a different strategy than that. You may want to chase the coin du jour. Just know that the options exist and the resources are available now on Black Miner's website. You can plug in your information and you can see the performance numbers between the F one and the F1 plus. Now new bit streams are always coming out and I asked Black Miner if they wanted me to mention the ones that are coming out which are due for imminent release. They said that I'm not allowed to talk about them. One of them is uh, an algorithm that's already been released on the BCU so if you have one of those you're probably already familiar with it. It's the one that was nice hash eligible but didn't really work out. You may consider uh, that when you do get one of these hardware items, same way as you uh, when you buy a BCU or a BCU, you can get on these registered hardware owner lists so you can get access to that information before anyone else. Now a public resource that you can take a look at is over on Zethron's site. We sing Zethron's praises here. He is our champion of bit streams. He's the one making these things and releasing them publicly for all of us hardware owners to use. You can head over to his website under performance and profit. You can see the bit streams that are currently available for what card. He keeps them nice and organized in a table. He also has near the bottom uh, uh, bit streams that are anticipated to be released very soon. These include things like X16R, Equihash 96.5. To 10.9 Aeon or 144.5 Snow Gem, so on and so forth. So you can decide if there's something that you really like to mine. Maybe it makes sense to get an FPGA before that bitstream comes available. Taking a brief comparison between the Black Miner F1 Plus, which is the which is the flagship model of hash altcoins, versus the BCU VCU 1525. I'm going to put the comparison numbers up instead of going through each one individually and showing a screenshot of hash rate results. I don't know that that makes much sense. I'm just going to put them right here side by side. You can clearly see that the F1 Plus is dominating in some areas. Plus, with the ease of setup and, uh, and just getting started without much issue, the ease of uh, uploading new bit streams and switching between them, it's a, it's a breeze. It really is. However, you are dependent on Hash Altcoin for those bit streams. I have not seen anyone uh, write a bit stream that works on the Black Miners uh, and successfully uploaded. That may very well exist. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, additionally, a pro in the Black Miner column is you would be able to buy the hard and host it through them. I'm not a fan of this personally. I like having the hardware in hand. We've seen people get burned in the past with another company that was hosting hardware. For me, I like having it in hand so that way I can sell it if I want. I can switch something up. I can do hardware modifications, what have you. I just like having it in hand. So you may consider hosting it with them if that's more your cup of tea, or you may consider actually getting the hardware and running it. These are the performance numbers right now as they exist today, February 19th, 2019. But technicals, you've sold off everything and you're selling your FBGA. How how can we listen to you? You must not think it's profitable or you know something, you shifty person. You you probably know that FPGAs are doomed and GPUs or ASICs will take over. Proof of stake will take over. Uh, there's nothing like that at all. Again, like I've said a million zillion times, it was really just a matter of chasing the coin du jour that was uh, presenting a real problem. I just don't have the time for it. I certainly have time to make videos and do uh, broad concept type stuff, but chasing the coin du jour is just not my thing. Additionally, again, the new project that we're working on is killing it in the profit department, and I'd really like to pursue that. I still think FPGAs represent a great opportunity for and for enthusiast miners, still hobbyist miners, because I believe that mining really is a hobby, unless you're at a massive scale. Uh, I think it's a great uh, addition to your current mining operation. I think it's probably good to stay well-rounded. I think people uh, should probably have ASICs, GPUs, FPGAs, and maybe a few master nodes, maybe some staking, something like that. Just be well-rounded. Have multiple revenue streams coming in. If one thing starts to falter or go downhill, you've got the other things supporting it. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, and that could be the, true for mining in general. You don't want everything on proof-of-work mining. It's probably worthwhile to at least explore the options out there. There.
And FPGA development is still in the formative stages. It probably seems to a lot of people out there like bitstream development takes ages and they never come out. And it's all these private bitstreams that are only going to people with massive operations. That's the case. That is happening. I can't say that it isn't because I'm sure someone investing multi-million, uh, million, many millions, many millions of dollars is probably going to put more millions into having a custom bitstream written for, a, for an algorithm that's targeted that is not released to the public. A lot of money could be made. Could you say the same uh, that you wouldn't do that if you had the opportunity as well? I think I would at least consider it. So that thing, that kind of thing is probably going on. I'm sure it is. And so I still think, though, if you're a miner, a hobbyist miner, an enthusiast level, advanced level, or at a large scale, it probably makes sense to at least explore FPGAs, take a look at them, maybe look for a good deal on a used FPGA or a KU040 or something that's a little bit cheaper, something to experiment with, because bitstreams do exist for them. You can get in on something that's not too expensive, test it out, see what the performance numbers are versus a GPU, versus an ASIC, see how hard it is to upload the bit streams. Maybe look at uh, a single board Black Miner F1, do some more research. I think if you're in mining and you're gonna be in mining for the foreseeable future, it probably makes sense to at least take a few minutes to research FPGAs and ASICs and everything else to see where they fit, where they could potentially fit into your operation. So what are you guys doing right now? Haven't many of you gotten FPGAs? I know quite a lot of you bought the Black Miner F1 when we did our first video on it and we put out that promo code because I see, I, I checked the analytics because really with that code, I'm more so interested in how far of a reach I have and I know Black Miner wants to know that too. A lot of people bought the Black Miner F1. I'm interested to know what you're mining on your Black Miner F1. If you got an F1 Plus, if you're, uh, if you're mining something else on there, are you mining coins that are currently not listed, which you believe have a lot of uh, headroom, a lot of upside potential here in the future. Let me know what you're doing in the comments below. And if you'd like to buy any of my closeout bottom bargain basement uh, liquidation sale event hardware mining items on the technicals.io head over there you can pick up a pin you can pick up a t-shirt you can do all sorts of things there lots of new items are going to be added to the technicals.io we're going to be expanding our enamel pin selection i think they're a super cute item that's not too expensive and i know a lot of people still collect enamel pins i never did but you know hey that's uh, it seems to be popular head over there check out what we've got to offer the technicals.io you can also check me out on twitter or Discord via the links in the description below. Otherwise, I'm the Technicals. See you next time.